Hey, Manny. All season long, I think you guys talked about how you felt like there was more that you guys could be doing as a team. And after what you've done with the Mets and now the Dodgers, do you feel like you're reaching what you guys are capable of over the season? Yeah, playing good baseball. Um, you know, been working all year, um, you know, to get better and try to strive for something. And, um, you know, we, we've had a glimpse of it all year. And, you know, definitely, uh, you know, getting – Getting it all clicking at the same time, um, you know, has, has helped for sure. And I think, uh, you know, whenever it's postseason baseball, you just, everyone has one goal, it's to win. Um, you know, whenever you have that and everything clicking at the same time, it's dangerous. So, um, you know, we, we have a lot of guys that are, um, you know, taking over and, and helping, helping us get to where we want to get to. And, you know, whenever all 26 guys are contributing to a team, uh, you know, that makes it dangerous. It seemed like you guys were the underdogs going into the Mets series and the Dodgers series. Um, and how much of that was a motivating factor for you guys? And now that you have the home field advantage and going against another wild card entrant, do you have to change the mindset at all? Yeah, I mean, definitely home field is, is, is always huge. So, um, you know, playing in front of the crowd, especially after we saw what, what happened this weekend. Um, you know, how the crowd in the city was behind us. Um, you know, it's definitely going to be huge for us going into game one and game two. So, uh, you know, that's always that's always a bonus. And, you know, ultimately, it's just going out there and playing our baseball. I think, uh, you know, um, you know, we could play our best baseball, our Padre baseball, the way we've been playing, um, and not really worry about anything else is, is go out there and just, just compete. Um, you know, I think that's the mindset going into this, this series. We're playing good, good, against a good team. Um, so just about... Going out there and just staying focused and, and, and staying in the game and taking it day by day. Over here on the left, Bryce. Manny, the, the Dodgers have been such an enormous obstacle uh, to this organization for a while. Now that you guys have put them in the rearview mirror in the postseason, is it difficult in any way to kind of hit the reset bo button and focus on the Phillies and not kind of have a Dodger hangover or whatever you would call uh, it? I think, uh, you know, as a group, I think we all enjoyed enjoyed that night. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, beating one of the best teams in baseball, um, you know, you soak it all in, you enjoy it. Um, you know, and then once that day was, once Saturday was over, uh, you know, focus was on, on, on to the next. Um, you know, we, 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 we got to... You know, stay focused on, on what the real goal is, and it's, it's to bring a uh, championship to the city. And um, you know, I don't think uh, you know any of us are are losing that that focus. I think we're going to go out there and compete, and we're going to keep 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 doing what we got to do every single inning. I think uh, you know, as a group, we take it inning by inning, out by out, and um, you know, whatever happens after 27 outs happens. But um, you know, we got we got to focus on that one out, one one inning at a time. I know you guys don't probably care about what's being discussed nationally on topics like this, but there's discussion that the last round not being seven games was potentially unfair to some of the 100-win teams. Um, what, what are your thoughts on some of that discussion? Uh, I don't get into politics, so <laughs> I stay away from that. I have no idea what they're talking about, if that's even being spoken about. I think... Uh, you know, we've been playing baseball for what, over 100 years. It's been the same system going on. Obviously, we added it a little bit this year with the walk card going, making it three. Um, you know, but it's always been five, seven, seven. So, I mean, I don't get into politics. So, that's all I know. Down here, Juan, in front row. Manny, after seeing kind of what it meant to the city when you guys went on Saturday and see how much it got behind you, those two games in the DS, was that kind of what you envisioned when you signed here in 2019? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we, we, San Diego's always drawn great crowds. I mean, it's been one of the top ballparks, you know, for years, um, you know, attendance-wise, one of the most exciting ballparks to visit, um, you know. So, yeah, I mean, you know, the only thing I was missing was just winning some ball games and, and taking a team to a postseason and, you know, getting deep into October. So, um, you know, here we are. I think uh, the city got a little taste of it a couple of years ago. Obviously, they weren't, weren't able to come and watch it live. Um, you know, but they did this past weekend and, um, you know, it showed. I mean, they brought the energy every single night and we fed off of that, um, you know, especially especially late into that game four game. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going to need them to continue doing that. And, uh, you know, we're just going to enjoy it. I think the city's enjoyed it. The city's enjoyed this whole weekend. And, uh, you know, now it's on to, to the next one, which is, you know, trying to, trying to bring a championship back to, to the West 
in San Diego and, and trying to bring a World Series title to, to the city. Okay, we're going to go here, AJ. Then you're going up against the guy. <clears throat> you're going against a guy you know pretty well in Bryce Harper. Um, you both signed in 2019 and kind of a, this, the same kind of process. What do you remember about kind of following along with maybe what he, he and you were going through some similar things? And is it cool to kind of see both those projects and those signings come to fruition in this series? Yeah, I mean, we've been linked since, uh, since we got drafted, you know, even, even before. So, uh, you know, we've gone way back. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, then I got signed with Baltimore and he was with D.C., so we're right, right up the road. We played against each other for a long time. And, you know, then leading up to free agency, you know, we're the, we're the two uh, top free agents. And, you know, he went to a city that wanted to bring a championship back. And, you know, I went to a city that has never won a championship. So, here we are, you know, a couple of years later, we, you know, we, uh, you know, we, 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 we've done that to the organizations and we've helped the organizations out big time. So, um, you know, it's going to be fun. Um, you know, he, he brings that energy. He's one of the best players in the game. And, um, you know, I think honestly, we got the two best teams going up against each other and, you know, it's going to, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be a fun week for sure. Okay. We're going to go far right, Tom. If you could look back to that free agency, what, what, factored into your decision and has it worked out how you thought it would back then what may have been different that you couldn't have known uh where are we at nlcs i think it worked out pretty good right so far um you know i mean this has been the vision all along i think uh you know going back to the meeting when when I sat down with, with AJ and, you know, he convinced me to come over here, um, you know, I saw the vision. I saw what he had and, um, you know, what this organization meant. Obviously, the city was one of the best cities in the, in, in the country and, um, you know, one of the most beautiful ballparks all, all across the, the nation. And, uh, you know, it was a matter of coming out here and, and trying to do something special. And, and here we are today. Um, you know, we fell short last time. Now we're here. And, you know, now it's a matter of just going out there and competing and, and, and leaving it all, leaving it all out, out there. So, um, you know, the city's just by seeing the city and how the city reacted over, especially in 2020, um, you know, I think that was the biggest one when, when we made the postseason. And, you know, we, they weren't able to be here. And, you know, we were driving home. We're seeing everyone out in the streets and they were going crazy. So that was, that was, that was seeing that was, was huge. And they weren't even able to be a part of it. And, now, here they are. You know, you saw how the weekend was. I mean, this is it's it was it was unbelievable. I mean, the, what the what they what they done and what they bring to the city, and we feed off of that as as a team. So, um, you know, this is it's, it's been awesome. That's all. I mean, that, that's you can't really say say much more than that. Okay, we're gonna take two more in English and a couple in Spanish. We're gonna go over here to Tyler on the left. Manny, after that 2020 season, they went out and got you, Darvish and Blake Snell and Joe Musgrove, three trades. What, what were you expecting? Were you expecting any of that? And what was that like to add three, like, you know, pretty prominent high-level starters in trades in, in one offseason? Yeah, I mean, you, we fell short, obviously. Um, you know, and I think that was one of, one of the reasons why we didn't have no pitching that, that year. Um, you know, obviously, we got a couple guys that got hurt. Um, so I mean that, that was the biggest need for the for the ball club, and I think uh, you know AJ's, you know he's never been shy on going out there and trying to improve the team in whatever way we can. We had a young group of guys who, you know, contributed that year and 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 were a big part of what we did offensively. And you know our biggest need was 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 pitching, and he went out there and, and did that and reinforced our team. Obviously we fell short the next year, and um, you know we, but we bounced back this year and we came up and we we all played together as a group and. You know, we made the best best of it. So, um, you know, AJ's never been been one to shy away from from making his ball club better. And um, you know, he did that as well this year again with with bringing in Hader and and, and Josh and Jury and, and Soto. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's 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 a matter of winning. I mean, I think I think that's the ultimate goal is is, is bringing it. Like I said again, it's bringing a championship to to the city. And um, you know, whatever you have to do to do that and, and put that ball club out there. Um, you know, AJ's going to go out there and do it. And, 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 you know, that's also factors in, you know, Peter, Peter, Peter buying into it. You know, I think Peter, Peter hasn't shied away on, on wanting to bring this to the city. And, and I don't think anyone wants it more than, than, than him and, and his family. So, um, you know, we're just one step closer. Okay. Far left here, Scott. 
Manny, I wonder what you remember about your the day that you spent in Philadelphia during your free agency period, and if at any point during that time, those months, if you ever thought you might be a Philly. Yeah, I mean, obviously, free agents and free agency, you're always, uh, you know, your your options are always open. I think that's that's the beauty of of being a free agent is you get to explore, you get to see everything, and um, you know, you got you kind of get to see the board. So um, yeah, def definitely they they you know definitely treated me well there when I went there, and um, you know, it was a great time and. Um, you know, it was, it was definitely an interesting uh, off season for sure for for all of us. Um, you know, I think uh, you know, I think that's that's one thing that you know, signing in February 21st and and, and Harper, you know, a couple weeks after that, I think uh, top two free agents shouldn't be signing that late. I tell you that. Um, you know, I don't think that's that's right for our organization. I don't think that's right for baseball. Um, you know, but it is what it is. So, um, you know, looking forward to uh, you know going out there and playing this week for sure. ¿Qué tal, Manny? Buenas tardes. Soy Elías Aguas de Univisión San Diego. ¿Qué tanto los ha motivado como equipo, Manny, el que no hubieran sido favoritos en las dos series pasadas como equipo? ¿Qué tanto los motivó? Y el mensaje para la padre manía que se está viviendo tanto en Tijuana como acá en San Diego y en toda la región. Gracias. Sí, siempre nos están dando el, el apoyo. Eh, nosotros jugamos por, por los fanáticos de nosotros latinos, eh, especialmente aquí, jugando aquí, que está tan cerca México. Eh, Sabe, nosotros vamos a seguir jugando el juego que, que, que nosotros sabemos jugar. Eh, al final del día tenemos que tratar de sacar 27 a y no tratar de hacer demasiado, pero jugar el juego de nosotros. So, eh, vamos a seguir haciendo eso en, en esta serie también. ¿Y el que, el que no haya sido favorito, usted, qué tanto lo motivó? Ah, nosotros no miramos eso. Nosotros queremos jugar la, la pelota de nosotros. Eh, ¿sabe? Si nosotros jugamos como nosotros sabemos jugar, uh, yo creo que eso es todo, todo lo que nos importa a nosotros. Felicidades, Manny. Carlos Álvarez, de Fox Deportes. Manny, eh, ¿qué tanto significa el que hayan pasado a la serie de campeonato derrotando un equipo que le había dado tanto dolor de cabeza a los padres de San Diego como los Dodgers de Los Ángeles? Sí, eh, estando aquí, primeramente, sabe, eh, es un honor. Nosotros no, sabe, la meta de nosotros es que es llegar a una serie mundial. Estamos un paso más, más cerca. Le ganamos dos, dos equipos buenos, entre los May y los Doye, uno de los mejores equipos en pelota. So, eh, nosotros lo que sab sabemos hacer es jugar pelota, ¿sabe? disfrutar del momento. Sé que nosotros no, no, no jugamos tan, tan bien en la temporada contra ellos, pero al final del día eh, es tratar de ganar los tres juegos que teníamos que ganar y, y nosotros hicimos eso primero. También es la segunda vez en tu carrera que llega a la serie de campeonato. ¿Qué tan diferente es el Manny de ahora? con este equipo de San Diego, al Manny del 2018, cuando estabas participando con los Dodgers de Los Ángeles. Ahora que eres uno de los líderes de este equipo. Sí, eh, en ese tiempo yo no, yo, yo fui, ¿sabes? Como, como parte del equipo, nada más, eh, ¿sabes? Y ahora es diferente, ahora soy uno, uno de la cara de la, de la organización. Estaba aquí, eh, ¿sabes? Ya llevo cuatro años aquí con, lo mismo, con el mismo grupo. Eh, ¿Sabes? Esto eh, se siente más especial, ¿sabes? Estar aquí nosotros... Cuando tú estás en print training todos los años, tú siempre entras y trabajas con, con los muchachos. Siempre el, empieza a notar qué es lo que quieren ellos, qué es, lo que, qué es, lo, qué es la meta de, de, del, del equipo todos los años. So, eh, este año nosotros teníamos, teníamos el ánimo eso para llegar aquí. Eh, entramos, no lo hicimos el año pasado. Yo creo que eso nos dio un poquito más de motivación para nosotros para llegar aquí hoy. So, como equipo, este, este ¿sabes? Se siente más especial que, que esos años. Thank you a lot, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Okay, first question for you. I'm going to start down there with Bob. You, since your last outing, were you preparing to go on short rest to get ready to, to pitch? And, and how is that preparation different? And does that affect your preparation at all now that you're getting the full rest? Uh, well, I didn't know it, but I didn't know it. 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 I did
あの中3日に関しては。<笑>まあだからその、まあ、てなんていうのかな探り探りやってましたけれどもあの昨日ブルペン投げて、まあ、すごく調子が良かったので楽しみです。You know our game five,、um, but、uh, so it was kind of a, it, it was a little bit hard because I was sort of you know testing things out as far as preparation goes. But you know, luckily we weren't we didn't have to go there.、Um, I did throw a bullpen yesterday and it felt good. So really looking forward to going into the game tomorrow. What do you see as the differences between how you would attack the Dodger lineup versus? This Phillies lineup now. What's the difference in terms of their approach in, in trying to get runs across? Yeah, well, the difference is, of course, a lot of them. And, well, here, I'm going to say, it's a game plan. It's a game plan. It's a game plan. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just keep it to there's a lot of differences, you know, between the two teams. And, you know, I can't, obviously, can't go into details of that,、um, you know, here in front of. You know, everybody. But、uh, yeah, there are, I feel like there are a lot of differences. Okay, over here on the left, Bryce. You, the, the Padres have been trying to get past the Dodgers for so long.、Um, how do you avoid in this series collectively not looking back but looking forward? いや僕他のみんながどうか全然僕は分からないので何とも言えないですけど、まあ、自分はこの前あの、まあ、ドジャースに勝ってすごく嬉しかったですけど、まあ、ここで終わりじゃないので、えー、また次の,なんていうの,あの試合、まあ、フィーズに、まあ、フォーカスをするという本当に単純なことだと思うので特に考えることは僕はなかったです。I can't talk for everybody else, but you know, as far as myself, you know, Yeah, there is a sense of satisfaction, you know, being able to beat the Dodgers and, you know, being here. But、um, obviously, this is not the end of the road for us. And, you know, we got more games to play. So that's where my focus is,、um, kind of plain and simple. Okay, we're going to go down here to AJ. You, I know you like to talk about new challenges and how much you enjoy them.、Uh, I know it didn't happen, but potentially pitching on short rest, did you enjoy kind of the preparation for that? And what was game four like for you, kind of knowing that? If the result went one way, you had to pitch the next day and, and otherwise today? Um, so, I think, I'm just going to go to the game. 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 えっと、ルーティンを試合中にやったりとか、まあ、2対0だったので、まあ、負ける可能性があるということで、まあ、そういういろんなこう今までに経験したことないことがいっぱいありましたから、まあ、それはそれで楽しかったです。うん、yeah, so、um, as the game went on, you know, you're watching the game in the dugout, and this was before we scored five runs, you know, I was talking with、uh, Clev and those guys that, you know, maybe I should go ahead to LA, you know, just to be ready if there's going to be a game five. And,、um, so, and also during the game, you know, I would go into the weight room and you know, do some workout stuff that I w- usually wouldn't do、um, if it was you know, a regular, regular rest. So you know, there were some things that you know, I would not normally do, but it was a good experience and you know, I think it was all fun. Okay, we're going to go in the middle here on the left, Tyler. You, when, the, when the Padres traded for you, was that a move that you were expecting?、Um, did you think that the Padres? Would be a team that came after you? And what were your first impressions、uh, once you got here? Hmm. I don't know. 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 Yeah, so I just remember that I was really surprised because it was something that happened so suddenly、um, as far as the trade goes.、Um, but, you know, I knew that it was a team that was capable of making it into the World Series. And,、um, you know, that said, you know, I, I was, I, I guess I, I can say I was happy about it. Can you stay over there, Scott? Hey, you.、Um, From, I know you watch a lot of video of the other hitters to prepare. I'm just wondering, 
case like this, with facing the Phillies tomorrow, is most of that video here in the ballpark in your clubhouse? Do you take homework home? Would you watch video of the Philly hitters last night or tonight, or is that mostly at the ballpark? How do you go about that? iPad, なのでずっとバックにはどこに行く時も絶対持ってますし、もう家でご飯食べてる時でもそのまあつ,つまった話だから見ることももちろんあるし、<笑>まあ一日中どこでも見れる準備はしているという感じです、ね。Mm-hmm. You know, all the information, all the video is on an iPad, so I can basically watch it wherever, whenever I want to.、Um, you know, and、uh, sometimes during dinner,、um, as I'm having conversation with my wife, so I'll be, you know, taking a peek at the iPad and looking at the video a little bit. So, but uh, yes, uh, it's with me all times, and I basically look at, the, look at it whenever I want to. Okay, we're going to take one more here in English on the left, and then we'll do Japanese. Back to the potential game five situation. Was that a conversation that you initiated with the team, or the team initiated with you? And how did that go? Yeah, like, like, I was going to get the chop going, game five, and I was going to get the chop going, and I was going to get the chop going, and I was going to get the chop going, and I was going to get the chop going, and I was going to get the chop going, and I was going to get the chop going, and I was going to get the chop going, and I was going to get the chop going, and I was going to get the chop going, and I was まあ、でもまあ僕はだからそのいやゲーム5だろってもしあるんだったらゲーム5だろっていうことを僕は言ってたので強くはしてたのでまあそれをまあ聞いてたから多分そのボブとルーベンでまあ多分僕はゲーム5行けなかったら,だから僕は怒るからということで多分この行くっていう予定にしてくれたんだと思うんですけど。はい、yeah, so、um, I was having a conversation with Ruben, our pitching coach, and he had mentioned that、uh, you know you have game one of NLCS, and but I And this was before、uh, game four. And I countered him that if there is going to be a game five, then you know, am I not going to start that game? And、um, I think Ruben, you know, that was a conversation I had with Ruben. And he took that back. And I think he probably had a conversation with Bob on that as well. And I think the conversation, my guess is that you know, if, I don't, if we don't start you,、um, On game five, he's probably going to get mad, so、uh, we should probably think about、um, him going in game five. So that's kind of the story behind that. All right. We're going to take questions in Japanese. Okay, first question.、Uh, straight back, in the middle, of the camera. Wait for the mic. What's going on? Yes. えー、と今年フィリーズとは2度対戦してますけどフィリーズ打線の印象というのはどういうものですか印象、まあ、あのいい右バッターが多いというのと、まあ、前回対戦した時は多分ハーパー選手がいなかったのかな、うん、多分いなかったと思うんですけど、まあ、だからまあハーパー選手が入ることによってまたすごく強力打線になると思うのであのすごくいいバッティングをするチームだなとうう思っています。Next question. Okay, all the way over there on the right. お疲れ様です。京都通信の白石です。まあちょっと先ほどあのまあ奥さんと動画を一緒に見たりするっておっしゃってましたけど、こう野球グランド以外でもやっぱ野球のことはやっぱ常に考えるようにそれかそれともオンオフはっていうところいかがですかね。グランド以外の過ごし方。いやずっとオンですよ。それはもちろんそれをしないと相手のことを。本当の意味で理解するってことは多分できないし一日一時間こうやって座ってビデオを見てはいやりましたじゃあ頭の中入らないので、まあ、どこに行くにも持っていくのは仕方ないし外,外に妻とランチ行く時でもやっぱりどうしても気になった時はすぐパーって出して見れるようにはしてるし、まあ、そういうのをだからしっかり理解してくれてるので妻が、まあ、だからこそこうできてることなんですけど基本的にはずっとオンですね。あまりじゃあオフって作らなんていうんですかね心の中のオフはやっぱ作らない方がご自身にとってはうんまあそうですね基本的にはまあそのもちろんリカバリーのためにこうゆっくりサウナ入ったりとかすることはありますけどそれもやっぱり野球のためなのでうんまあオンシーズンだからオフはいらなくないっていう考えというかオフシーズンがオフなのではい。Next question? Straight back there on, on the podium. 
えー、ゲームセブンあベスト・オブ・セブンという、まあ、リーグのチャンピオンを決める試合で再び第一線を任されるわけですけどもその、えー、お気持ちをお願いします、まあ、それはもちろんすごく光栄なことですし、まあ、と同時にやっぱり責任もすごく重いと思いますから、うん、だからまあでもあまりその気負いすぎることなくいつも通りレギュラーシーズンと同じ感じで、えー、投げたいと思ってます。Okay. Next question. What we got? Where am I missing? Yep, right back there on the, on the riser. Yes, I'm going to ask you. 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 I'm そんな疲れないですよ。それちゃんと<咳>なんていうのかな。まあいつも言うようにこうメディテーションしたりとかすると基本的に大丈夫なので。まあでも体はやっぱりじゃあマッサージすればどうとかこういう栄養を取ればすぐ疲れが取れるっていうもんじゃないので、まあそこはあの難しいとは思いますけれども、でも基本的にはその技術とメンタルでまあどうにかなるとは今思っているのであまり気にはしてないです。Okay. Anything else in Japanese? Thank you.、Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, we'll start down here on the right to Bob with Bob. Hey, Bob. After taking down a couple of hundred plus win teams, how much more? True inner belief does your team have in itself? And also, coming into the series, not as much the underdog as you were in the previous two. Does that change the mindset at all? Yeah, I don't think it matters. They're all good teams we're playing, and these guys are playing great right now. So,、um, got our work cut out for us just as much as we did the last couple of series. But we kind of try to more concentrate on what we're, gonna, what we're doing, how, our style of play, and, and kind of go from there. How much respect do you have for what they accomplished also coming out of the wild card situation? And how different is that team than the one you, you played a couple times earlier this season? Yeah, different, doing some things a little differently.、Um, you know, certainly have some starters that get your attention, some bullpen guys. I think they're getting Robertson back too.、Um, they can shorten games there. They have power. They run the bases. They steal bases. They,、uh, they can beat you in different ways. So we have to be、uh, ready for them on any number of levels. Okay, we're going to go down here to Adrian. Bob, have you had time to reflect on how important it was to win that series in four the way you did and can kind of align your pitching now? And also, with the potential for five games in five days from three through seven, how does that change what you might? Yeah, that's kind of crazy.、Way? I've never seen that before. So, you know, both teams have to be cognizant of that as far as your pitching in a, in a five game series.、Um, a little less patient in a seven game series, especially when you have five in a row. You're going to have to have a little bit more patience, potentially. Um, so, just, just a little bit of a different dynamic as far as that goes. It, it is nice to be able to line our pitching up and you know, having two days off, one we get a full day off and then work out. But、um, you know, these, this lineup tends to tax your pitchers regardless. I'm just glad we're, you know, we didn't have to go to a, a fifth game where we you know, had to use Darvish and then our bullpen again. Okay, far left. Hey,、uh, Bob.、Um Darvish just said that part of, he was going to be ready for game five, and part of the thinking in the conversations you had was, he, well, he was going to be mad if he didn't get game five. So I'm wondering how that played、just、out on your e n d Okay. I don't know how to answer that.、Um, okay, the, the he was going to get game five, so he wouldn't have been mad. <laughs> okay, we're going to go down here to Claudia in the first row. Right here. Bob, you, you got some great star,、uh, starting pitching, and they did such a great job, especially like Musgrove.、Uh, do you expect some of the pitchers go deeper like him?、Uh, you know, it just depends on how it plays out. We obviously monitor stuff. We're deep in the season. They have a lot of innings under their belt.、Uh, we have a pretty good bullpen. You know, you certainly take a look at how many times they're on the lineup that we expect somebody to be effective. So I don't think at this point in time we're. we're We're just going in to push, yet, you know, there's more games, and 
five in a row and taxes your, you know, potentially taxes your bullpen a little bit. But I think it's just more game to game, how a particular game goes, and we'll look at what we need to do the next day. Okay, we're going to go down here on the left, Tim. Bob, in, in talking about five and five, you, you mentioned the word patience. And I'm wondering, I mean, obviously, we probably all thought the same thing in terms of pitching, but uh, what's that going to actually look like maybe in the first two or three days of the series? Well, you know, you have two and then you have an off day. So that's a little bit different. It's the latter part I was more referencing as far as uh, how, you, how you have to go about that. That's kind of more regular season f a feel to it being five games in a row. So potentially five games in a row. So, I, you know, the first two we were going to kind of dictate how the rest of them go. I think, you know, with the pitching matchups in the first two games, um, runs could be at a, at a premium and might have to look to do things a little bit differently. And then as the, you know, as the series goes on a little bit longer, maybe you're a little bit more patient and maybe looking for a big inning or something like that. But, you know, that's just off the top of my head trying to forecast where this goes. AJ, I, asked, I asked some version of this question the other day, but it feels more applicable now with, with Manny and Bryce playing each other. What do you remember about that 2018-19 offseason? And kind of do, do you think that, like, the results of that offseason are kind of bearing fruit now this, this week? I don't remember a ton about it. I know that Manny came here and he went there, but you know they're they're two premier players that both teams revolve around. So I think the impact that he's had there is similar to the impact that Manny's had here. When you're looking at how you're pitching to lineups, those are the first two guys that that pop out, and you know you you try to limit the damage to those guys. Sometimes that's easier said than done, but I think there are a lot of similarities on the respect they get and how they've impacted these organizations from that point till now. Okay, going to go ahead, Jesse, in the middle. Bob, with all your postseason experience, Arizona, Oakland here now, ha have you changed the way you think or approach anything, whether it's workouts and off days and travel, in-game stuff, just as you've had more experience? Well, yeah, in Oakland, a lot of them are one-game wild card games, so that's a little bit different. But, I, I you know, I was – you want to try to keep the same type of pace, yet you understand that – this deep into the season, you also need to give them a little bit of a break. So I think it's about being ready from 7 to 10 or whatever the time, you know, the games are. Um, cutting back a little bit like we had a full day off yesterday, which I think will benefit from work out today and go forward. But you have to understand that these guys have been going at it for a long period of time here, and you have to be cognizant of that as much as you maybe throw at them before games. Okay, we're going to go far right over there, Darren. Hey, Bob, uh, both these teams have a fair share of star power. For whatever reason, it kind of took them to this point in the season to really hit their stride. A lot of kind of desperate types of games late down the stretch, and, and now they've, they've kind of fed off the energy of their home crowds. Do you sense some similarities in kind of your paths here, and what could all of that, you know, how could all of that influence this series? Couldn't be more, you know, I mean, same, same for us. Everything that you said there is basically the same for us. So similar type teams, both got here the exact same way, having to play, you know, games that felt like postseason games at the end. Wasn't particularly easy. Both teams probably benefited from that, that it was hard getting in. Um, and, and both teams have played really well against teams that, you know, won divisions for the most part. You know, Mets didn't win their division, but they won 101 games. So a lot of similarities across the board in these teams, not only in, you know, what rosters look like, uh, rotation looks like, but certainly how they've played it, we played as well. Okay, you know, down here in front, Sam. Bob, Will Myers, his role from the time the season started through the injuries, through the trades, has, has kind of evolved as this season has progressed. What's been his impact on this club, both on and, and off the field? He's always had a big impact here. It's just, you know, this year was, he had a, missed a lot of games, so he wasn't around as much, um, you know, as far as being on the field, but you know, Will is a terrific athlete. I mean, if you're around long enough, he runs well. You know, he throws well. He plays multiple positions. He's got power. Um, and the guy really here that's been the been, been here the longest. So uh, he's very impactful in the clubhouse. On the field, be able to do different things this year, I think it's been inspiring for him to be able to help the team out in, in different ways. And I think that speaks to who he is as a player that – you know, he doesn't get caught up too much in personal numbers. It's all about how he can ha help the team. You know, whether he's been pinch hit for, he's never had a problem with that. 
You know, he, you know, playing first base, playing the outfield, moving around. Sometimes that's difficult, but he really enjoys that. So he, he, he's a big personality on our team. Apparently in downtown after the games and everything too, from what I understand. So uh, they like him here in, in San Diego. Okay, we'll take one last one down here, Tim. Bob, I think there may be people who tune into this series and, and marvel at what you're able to do without Fernando. I'm wondering what, over the course of the season, that, that obstacle, how you sort of uh, maneuvered around that yeah. and who was filled in and perhaps what, is, what has actually been beneficial from it. Well, we've had no choice. You know, there have been a couple different letdowns based on the fact that we thought we were getting him back and then we didn't. We were looking forward to that, you know, as a team, that type of caliber of player, which is very rare that somebody has a skill set like that. So maybe overcome some disappointment as far as – him not coming back, but certainly the trades impacted kind of what our, our team looks like. Um, bring in a couple more start player type, caliber type players, which, you know, enhanced our team as we, as we went along. But I think the team managed the kind of the drama and some of the stuff that revolved around, um, you know, the, the Fernando situation and handled it really well. You know, he handled it well. I mean, as far as when he came back and, and spoke about it. So from that point on, we've just kind of moved on and kind of felt his support. I text with him kind of every other day or so, and he's very supportive right now. So it's just something we've had to deal with. Regresamos en breve. No te muevas.